Russia fires ballistic missile with huge warhead as Putin ratchets up WW3 threat. The RS-12M Topol successfully hit its target at a range in Kazakhstan as tensions with North Korea's crackpot despot Kim Jong-un threatened to boil over. The warhead test took place at the Kapustin Yar range in Russia's southern Astrakhan region. It could be a warning shot to Kim Jong-un as the test comes just a day after his henchman accused President Donald Trump of declaring war on North Korea. Officials said the test data would be used to develop prospective means of breaching enemy missile defenses for use in Russian ballistic missiles. It will also test the advanced combat equipment of the Russian missiles. A spokesman said, a combat union of the Russian Strategic Missile Forces test launched an intercontinental ballistic missile Topol RS-12M from the Kapustin Yar State Central Range in the Astrakhan region. The goal of the launch was to test advanced ballistic missile warheads. According to the ministry, data on the Topol launch will be used to develop advanced anti-missile defense penetration aids. The test of the infamous Satan II thermonuclear missile could now be held in October, according to the TASS news agency. It comes as the world teeters on the edge of amid tensions between and the US. The regime's top US relations official left the isolated nation to visit Russia to defuse tensions on the world stage last week. The North Korean official met with Alexander Matskara. Russia's highest representative to Pyongyang, where the two discussed the state of the isolated country's peninsula. Now she is set to call on her allies for more talks following months of provocations from the Hermit Kingdom. Both and China have called for calm amid fears Kim and President Trump could drag the world into a conflict on the peninsula. Last week Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov claimed he was confident neither the US or Pyongyang would launch a nuclear strike. Mr Lavrov said, the Americans are not going to attack North Korea. If the situation spirals out of control, in South Korea and North Korea, in Japan, Russia, and China, hundreds of thousands of innocent people will suffer. The White House was last night forced to deny that the US had declared war on North Korea by describing claims by the Hermit Kingdom as absurd. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, press secretary for the White House, conference came after Kim's top aide Ryong Ho said said the international community should remember that the US declared war on North Korea. During a very rare briefing to reporters at the UN Millennium Plaza Hotel in New York, North Korea's foreign minister said the secretive state has the right to shoot down American bombers even if they are not in North Korean airspace. But M. Sanders said the US was still seeking peaceful solutions.